So Kendall was talking about an area that we're watching in parts of the Western Caribbean, Southern Gulf of Mexico. That is our designated area number one that we're watching. But I wanna bring your attention to the fact that there's actually three other areas that we're keeping a close eye on. Here's the one that I wanna focus on real quick. It's the remnants of what was Tropical Storm Gordon. You'll remember that that formed on September the 11th. It lasted through about September the 17th before weakening to a tropical depression. And the remnants of this thing still kind of splashing around and hanging out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Only a 10% chance of formation in the next 48 hours, meaning there is a 90% chance that this thing doesn't do anything and fizzles and fades real quick. And that's exactly what we're expecting. Now to the left of the remnants or to the west of that, we have Invest 96L. This very much so in the same strong upper level wind field that Gordon is going to be tapping into. Unfortunately, there's going to be a lot of wind shear, just meaning that there's a lot of upstairs winds where planes fly going way too fast, literally kind of decapitating what could be the start of this thing. But we're expecting it in the next 48 hours that's the next two days through the next seven days, not a whole lot of tropical activity. With that being said, if you're one of those folks lucky enough to have that transatlantic cruise and you're cruising from say the port of Miami or wherever through Bermuda, you'll want to watch this kind of carefully only because this could kind of stir up the oceans. And even if it is just a little tropical disturbance, that's the last thing you want to be fighting through when you're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean on a big old boat. Here's what we're watching too, and note that this has about a 20% chance of development. This is in what we call the main development region of the Atlantic. We'll watch this one carefully. Again, not a whole lot of sugar and spice with it, but either way, something to watch out for. Next name on our list is gonna be Helene. We'll see if that actually forms. I think if it does form, it would be the storm system that Kendall just broke down that's in the Western Caribbean and Southern Gulf of Mexico. So we'll see what happens to that in the days ahead for sure. But either way though, Kendall, it's that time of the year where, yeah, we are in the uh, second half of the hurricane season just after our climatological peak, but still bears monitoring in the days and weeks ahead.